Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Steam Deck update, SteamOS version 3.3.2. This new update comes with a bunch of new changes and updates, especially for docked play, some SD card formatting improvements, and changes to custom boot videos. Let's get started going through this update's changes to SteamOS. This update has added many features to the docked mode experience on the Steam Deck, including adding an external display output resolution and refresh rate option in the display settings on the Steam Deck. It also helps with hot plug detection, as well as some improvements to the mouse controls. There's also some more generalized updates. They fixed a the crash of Red Dead Redemption 2, improved frame pacing when compositing, improved touch slash detouch detection speeds. They patched certain situations that could cause an SD formatting to fail, although I probably wouldn't risk formatting my SD card on my Steam Deck still and would rather use my PC for it. The Steam Deck, at least in the past, has had some issues with bricking people's SD cards after failing to format them. The Steam Deck client has had some performance improvements on the home screen. They added in an option to automatically control the resolution for external displays in dock mode. When being used, it will automatically adjust the resolution for performance on external displays. The Steam Deck also tracks refresh rate and FPS limit settings independently now. Refresh rate switching via the quick access menu for external displays has been disabled, although there is a way to re-enable it but that is not recommended. Controller configurations are now configured individually when multiple of the same type are connected. They fixed a bunch of bugs with the controllers and the occurrence of double activations on soft press with the touchpads and analog sticks. They also tweaked the flick stick. They reduced the update rate from 240Hz to 120Hz, which should help reduce instances of maxed out movement, added a slapback check, and the last changes are specifically for the custom boot videos. I have not personally added a custom boot video yet, so I don't know the specifics on how it worked prior to this update, but the Steam Deck will now look for a custom video in the Steam slash root slash config slash UI override slash movies. The folder is not there by default and will need to be created. The file needs to be in a WebM format. That is all for the new SteamOS 3.3.2 update, lots of changes to dock mode, and the new custom boot animation. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, then be sure to like and subscribe.